Welcome. Today is Saturday in the ninth week of Ordinary Time. Our presider today is Father Ben. Turn to me and have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am alone and poor. See my lowliness and suffering and take away all my sins, my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. So we ask the Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to forgive whatever sins you and I may have committed. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing, appearing and his kingly power. Proclaim the word. Be persistent in it. It's be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine but follow their own desires and insatiable curiosity, will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be di diverted to myths. But you, be self-possessed in all circumstances. Put up with hardship. Perform the work of an evangelist. Fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your glory day by day. Cast me not off in my old age, as my strength fails, forsake me not. I will, I will sing, sing of your, your salvation. But I will always hope and praise you ever more and more. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day, your salvation. I will, I will sing, sing of your, your salvation. salvation. 
I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord. O oh God, I will tell of your singular justice. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth and still until the present. I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will, I will sing, sing of, of your, your salvation. salvation. So will I give you thanks with music on the lyre for your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing your praises with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. I will, I will sing, sing of, of your, your salvation. salvation. Father, your blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily proclaim his good news in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, O Lord. Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and, as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers, they will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury. For they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. After reflecting on both readings, I was struck by the contrast between two kinds of leaders. On the one hand, Timothy, a bishop, is told by Paul what he expects, expects from him. Timothy is expected to, yes, proclaim the word, be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient. He is expected to convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. Timothy is expected to be self-possessed in all circumstances, to put up with hardships, to perform the work of an evangelist, Yes, to fulfill his ministry as a leader. In the gospel, we heard Jesus talking to us about another kind of leaders, the scribes, who would like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, places of honor at banquets, 
they devour the houses of widows and as pretexts recite lengthy prayers. What a contrast. The message is very clear. Jesus and Paul are expecting not only from the leaders of the church, but from all of all the disciples, from you and me, that we all live our faith in a very genuine way, in accordance with the teachings of Jesus. And Jesus in the gospel gives special attention to this poor widow, who, although very poor, gives a meager contribution. I'm convinced that Jesus is inviting you and me to also be very sensitive to the poor and all those in need. St. Ignatius of Loyola has a prayer which I would like to share with you. He writes, Lord Jesus, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as you deserve. Teach me to give and not count the cost, to fight and not heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and not to seek reward, except that of knowing that I do your will. Amen. Moved by the Holy Spirit, whom we received with the waters of baptism, we pray to God with confidence. That our church be enlivened by the Holy Spirit and proclaim the good news with joy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who seek peace be renewed in hope and leaven the world with justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all the young people who have participated in our parish religious education program this year, that they and their families continue to grow in faith and love for the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That all who fear the future find in the risen Lord an end to fear, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us sharing in this Mass, that we may use the spiritual gifts we have been given by the Holy Spirit for the benefit of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Michael White, Fabiola Barcello, Deacon Ed Moser, Deacon Rick Pomfrey, Gabby Short, Tammy Wilson, Joanne Schlemmer, Jose Gravara, Nick Pereira, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, especially Mary DuPont, Ramon Solis, Martha Miller, John Haggerty, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Loving Father, you do not leave us orphans, but you send us your Holy Spirit. Grant us the grace to follow your word and to serve you with joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the for praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son. No petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, up them up to the, up Lord. To the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, uh, to praise your mighty deeds uh, in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid. You gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us. us. 
Savior of the, of the world. For, For by your cross and resurrection, you have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we, who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.